Okay, today let's draw this model. Okay, on the right pane, we are going to use a spline. We have, we have to sketch a four, four points plank and then dimension accordingly. So on the right plane, right plane, sketch. So we draw a center line first. Okay, escape to exit the command. Click the line on the contextual menu. Click construction geometry. Escape to end the command. So we are going to draw a spline. Okay, from here, this end point. Click one more point here. One more point and end there. Escape. Right click, select, end the command. To the left dimension, okay. This point origin forty three. Here the origin eighty seven. From here. The height here is 25. Okay. So this point to this point here is 40. And the overall length 185. Click here, click here, click here, 185. And here is 12 mm. Click here to here. 12 mm. So it's fully defined. Anyway, the, di the dimensions, they are not so important. Because the main intention is to know how to, how to model. So the dimension depends on your model, how, how you want your model to look like. So the next slide will be you creating a plane. So let us take the command. Okay. So we are going to create a plane. Select this. This polyline. And select the the second reference will be the point here. Coincident and perpendicular okay so the, the name is plain one i click to hide hide so on plain one you're going to create the sketcher so on plain one sketch again we draw a center line first We draw a center point up. First center point. Click here. Click here. I mentioned the radius is one hundred. Okay. Let make this this point and this and this point horizontal. And the dimension is hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty. Okay, so we are going to make this point coincident with the with the origin. So I click the point here. Control. 
I click the origin. Actually, it's coincident. In moment two. So, number two again. And 20. And then define. Okay. I click this. The center of the arc. And the, at this point here. To be vertical. Draw the center line. Let's see how can under define. How come that? How come it? Uh, it should be fully defined. Let's see. Can I drag the sketch? Cannot drag. Cannot drag the sketch. So, so just leave it under defined because I cannot I cannot drag the sketch, so it should be okay. Okay. Let's see the sketch. So we are going to have a Deep surface, we go to surface, flat surface. Okay, this is the profile, the path. So we created the surface profile. Next, on the top plane, we are going to sketch the shape of the mouse. So on the top plane, Okay, we draw center line. Just now, I, I don't want to take the trouble to, to fully define the sketch. So, doesn't matter. Because it takes time to fully define the sketch. Okay, now I'm going to draw the point up first. The point up. And drag it a bit. Okay, click this point. Low click and make it horizontal. Okay, and the point out again. Okay, make sure let's make, make the this three point here horizontal. Dimension this one, this up is 33, this up is 41. Okay, and dimension. Here to here. Thirty-five 
and here so here is here so this center point here is 70 okay, let's draw a three point up okay click this point here and say tangent okay, this point here tangent but now it's fully defined so let me mirror okay, mirror this entity over mirror about the center line so it's fully defined okay let's surface extrude so you, you notice that the sketch is below here so i'm going to extrude up I go to feature no go to surface extrude surface so is it 51 mm and 15 degree so the drop is 15 degree Actually, this 51 is not critical because we are going to remove. Oh, no. So now we have two surface body. Two surface body here. Next, we are going to trim. That means this portion we want to cut away the top part. So we go to we go to surface, go to the trim, trim surface. So we take the, the strip as your, as your trim tool, and then to remove, we remove this part here. So now uh, you can see that the, this this bottom part. Uh, we, we need this portion here. Okay, now we are going to trim again. We are going to trim the this purple portion here away. So we go to trim surface. Click this one. So surface trim one is a two. Click OK. So now we have the shape of the mouse. Okay. Then you can see it's hollow here. On second view, you can see it's hollow. So now we are going to cover this portion here using the plane command. Manner surface. You've got to wait for a while because the, my computer is a bit slow. Can select the other edge. You can see that the the preview show that it is is creating a surface. Okay, so the surface created. So inside is hollow. Now we are going to fill it. Uh, we are using the face fill it. Okay, go to go to fill it. Select the face fill it. Okay, click here. And this part we can click here. We don't need to click because it it it. it, it the tension propagation is like everything. So maybe I make it here three mm. Okay. So now we have a three mm. 
Okay, man, be small. I think it's a okay, negative five. Okay, now we are going to create a, a rectangle. And after that, we, we trim it. So we, we sketch on here. So it's on the on the smaller end here. So we are going to draw center line first. Okay, then we draw a center rectangle. Okay, dimension here is fifty one and ten. So here a bit, I think I remove this circulation. So this one, I make it 50. From here to here, 10. And here to here, here to here, we make it two. Now one. It's fully defined. So, See the sketch. So surface trim. So we are going to to cut a the hole here. So we go surface trim. And select this part here. Because this one we have to remove. You can see there's a hole here. And we go to second view. Is okay. You can see there's a hole here. Yes, there's a hole here. So now we are going to. Because now we have two bodies, so we are going to combine into one. So we go to the next surface, like this one, and select the planar surface. Okay, leave everything the default setting. Okay, now only one body. Okay, next, we are going to have a radius of 1 mm below here so go to fillet yeah make it make it make it two so select the hey no sorry go to fillet select the constant fillet Okay, make it 2 mm. Okay. okay now we are going to create a, a, a slot here. So you sketch on the on this planar surface. Again okay, we draw center line. So we are going to draw a two point slot. Click here. This dimension is okay, twenty. Uh, 
26. From here to here, 26. Then radius is 3. So it's fully defined. Again, we are going to use the base trim again. So remember, go to surface, trim. So we want to cut this part and this part away. And okay, now we have a, a slot over here. And okay, now we want to draw the knob on the right plane. So go to right plane, sketch. You draw the curve. Diameter 22. And the distance from here to here, 15. Yeah, let me let me delete first. Okay, let me look at the relation. Maybe it, oh because uh there's a coincident relation. Accidentally, I I I I must remove this one. Click delete. So a dimension. 15. Dimension here to here 36. Okay. Boss, I showed mid plane to a man. So put a picture mid plane. To M. The next, I feel like taken the the body. So we we go to the face. Taken, select this body, and give it the two M. Mm. Taken side two. You can take on both sides, doesn't matter. Okay, so okay, now we are going to have a fillet of 1 mm. So go to fillet, constant fillet, then you edge. Okay. To be one mm. Okay, now now you want to Create a this one done with now we want to create the the neural surface. So I'm gonna sketch on this surface, sketch. So draw a circle. I want a man. Diameter here twenty five point five. Okay, 
Click here. Go here. Let's try one more time. Click here. Twenty-five point five. And then from here is thirteen. You can see thirty nine. So dimension is right? here. Thirty nine. So now it is sitting nicely there. So we are going to put the feature. Let's go cut. Up to next also can. Keep a healer of point one. Healer. Point one. Okay. Okay, next we are going to circular pattern fifty one instances. So we go to circular pattern. So the direction we can click this area and make it 51. Delete and you got to add the cut to shoot also. Okay. Okay, now look nice. Okay, the next thing I want to add uh, here, you can see we got some color down here. So I, I select this one, I right click, I go to appearance, I only want the face. So I choose any color I like, and I continue working. Okay, you also can continue with this bottom part here. So our mouse is complete, completed. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next video.